Hi, Debbie Steglick here with Troubadour and today we're going to talk about impulsion and lightness. It's hard to get each one of those but we're going to work a little bit on both of those and see what we can get today. Troubadour has been pretty much standing around for the last half an hour and and it's you know probably in the 90s today so he's not feeling too motivated right now which is good because I want you to see it from the beginning. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with uh, uh, sequence of cues. The first one I like to use is energy or bringing the life up in my body uh, because they're energy animals and then that makes more sense to them and if I don't start with some kind of lightness I don't I can't get back to lightness so if my first phase is energy and then I add in a sequence of other cues He's going to start seeing the pattern and he's going to start responding sooner and sooner and getting lighter and lighter or at least that's the goal. So when I bring up the life in my body or my energy what I try to do is try to take in a deep breath. I smile. I have good energy in my body and I get a strong intention of where I want to go. If, he has, if I have not got his attention yet then I will squeeze with my calf muscles. I'm not going to kick. I'm just going to give a gentle squeeze. If that doesn't work, then I will do a cluck or a kiss. And if that doesn't work, then I will tap with my riding crop on the shoulder or at the back of the rib cage. Either one. And if it takes more than one of those cues to get him to be motivated to go, I'm going to stop him and I'm going to ask again. And I will keep repeating that until he becomes light. So here we go. And I'll explain it and show it as I'm going along. So I'm going to bring up some energy in my body. I'm going to squeeze with my calf muscle. The moment he does, I take my calf muscles off and my hips are moving with the horse. I'm, I'm not going to keep the pressure on because they learn from the release of pressure. So since I had to do two cues there I'm going to stop by exhaling and stopping the motion in my body and ask again. I'm going to breathe in, squeeze with my calf muscle. I'm not getting a whole lot right now so I'm going to cluck. There I got a little bit more impulsion but I still had to go up and, and use more cues there so I'm going to slow back down exhale, stop. If he doesn't stop then I can lift the rein but I'm not going to pull the reins now he doesn't want to stop. <laughs> so I'm already getting to him. I'm already getting, getting him motivated, which is good. But I want him to be able to respond to whatever I ask for. But I'm not going to pull the reins to stop. I can, pull, I can lift a rein up and I can ask him politely to please stop. But I'm not going to pull back. I'm not going to kick to go. All that does is bring out negative behaviors in the horse and gets your horse duller and duller. So here we go. Brought up the life in my body, and that's all it took that time. I got a pretty nice little walk here, a lot better than when we started, so I'm happy with that. And I'm always looking for moments where I can reward the horse instead of where can I pick on the horse. Because that's going to make a big difference in the response that I get out of my horse too. So now if I want to trot, I'm going to do the same thing. Bring up the energy in my body, squeeze with my calf muscle, and he went. Now I'm going to go back down to a walk because I had to use two cues there. I'm going to ask again. Bring up the energy. Squeeze. I want a little bit more. So I'm going to cluck and then I'm going to let go with my leg the moment he responds and gives me the amount of energy that I wanted. Now I'm getting a little bit out of him but I'm still having to go up and use you know more and more cues. So I'm going to ask again. Bring up the energy, inhale, and then that's all it took that time. So he's getting lighter and more responsive because I'm not picking on him. I'm helping him. And because he's doing what I want, I'm very relaxed in my body. I'm moving with him. My hips are, are moving along with him. And I'm participating in this trot, but I'm not picking on him, and I'm happy. I'm happy that he's doing what I asked for. Come back down to a walk by slowing the motion in my body. Now, if I want to canter, I'm going to do the same thing. I want to move him over just a little bit first. 
He's not being very responsive there, so I'm going to tap. Tap. There we go. Good. Good. There we go. His head came up. He got a little bit worried there. I'm just going to give him time. Give him time. I'm going to breathe in. I want a little bit more energy in my walk. And then if I want a canter, I'm going to breathe in. I'm going to get a canter motion in my body. And I'm going to use the same sequence of cues if I need to. So here I go. I'm going to breathe in. Get a canter motion. And he offered it that time. That was beautiful. Because I'm not picking on him. I'm giving him time. I'm asking with lightness. Good. When he blows like that, he's letting out you know, some, uh, some stress or worry or anxiety. So here I'm going to change direction. I'm going to bring up the energy in my body. Inhale, smile, look where I want to go. Squeeze with my calf muscle. So that took a little bit again. It doesn't mean you're going to start being perfect here. We still have to play the game a little bit. But as time goes on, he's going to get lighter and lighter. So now I'm going to, I'm going to, he, he wanted to stretch there. I let him. That's okay. I'm working on a loose rein right now because all I'm working on is impulsion. So now I'm going to, I want to canter again. So I'm going to look out there. I'm going to take a deep, good breath in. I'm going to get a canter motion and there we go. Now, if he didn't, I would have kept using my sequence of cues with my leg, clucking, using my riding crop, you know, whatever I need to do. And then I would slow down and repeat again if he was non-responsive. Instead of keeping, you know, just whacking him and whacking him and telling him, let's go, let's go. You know, he's just gonna get a bitter taste in his mouth. He's gonna get worse and worse. I want him to participate and be a part of of this conversation that we're having. It's not a dictatorship. I'm not making him do it. I'm encouraging him to do it. So I'm going to ask for a trot. He's trying to, I'm going to wait a second because he's, he's wanting to veer off that way and I didn't want him to. So I just used a little leg here and a little rein here and asked him over. And I just held it there and took the outside leg off and I just held it there until he could move over. I gave him time to think about it. I gave him time to find the answer. I didn't just whack, whack, whack and make him do it because, you know, they just get more confused, more frustrated, more irritated, and they don't want to do anything for you. So I'm going to ask for a trot. Breathe in. Squeeze. Now I let the squeeze off the moment he responded, but I'm still going to ask again because I want it to be light. I'm going to breathe in. Yeah, good. 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 So I hope that helps you a little bit. It gives you an idea. Transitions help a lot to help motivate the horse. And it's not just, if, if, if he would, if it would have taken a lot of um, if it would have taken a lot of cues to get him to go forward and I just kept him going forward, he would never get any better. But by slowing him down to a lower gait or slowing him down to the walk, uh, the halt, and giving him a chance to try again, gives him a chance to get motivated, gives him a chance to think about what the right answer is. And it makes him feel like he's a participant in this and that he's not just a puppet being dragged around or yanked or pulled or kicked around you know we don't want to do that because we're never going to get lightness that way so i hope you enjoyed that i hope you learned something from that if you would like to contact me for further information you can visit my website at cowgirldebbie.com c-o-w-g-i-r-l-d-e-b-b-i-e.com and thank you for watching